guys, welcome back to the Don't Starve Survival Guide. As you recall, in our last episode, we got our camp all set up. We got our twigs here. We got our one little basic farm. We got tons of berry bushes and a little bit of grass. And I can tell, because I left the game last time with my axe in hand, that our mission for today is to chop trees. Because as I recall, we were going to work on that alchemy engine. And for that, let's see here, science. So, alchemy engines. We need, okay, got it. We need more logs. We've got really good health. Uh, starting to get a little low on our sanity, but otherwise we're surviving pretty well. So let's see. Oh, right. We planted that huge forest down here. Almost forgot about that. So since we've got everything pretty much centralized in our base camp, that's going to make things a lot easier for us. We've got a regular source of food from our rabbits and from our farm, and we've got a regular source of supplies and materials with the grass and the twigs. The one thing that we don't have is rocks, but fortunately we found the rock biome pretty early when we were trying to find food. So. We probably should have picked up more rocks while we were up there, but I, I think we kind of actually have enough. Oh, get away, get away, get away. No, 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 no. Ah, got it. Oh, birds will eat those seeds every time. And by the way, I don't know if you noticed, but seeds will go bad. So you can store them up, but you've got to make sure that you actually, you know, use or eat them in plenty of time. Now, I tend to like to chop my trees down when they're large. You get more logs out of them that way. And you pretty much always get a couple of pine cones off of a tree, but the logs are based on how big the tree is. So that way I don't have to worry about overloading myself with pine cones and only getting one log. I can use my shovel, pick up the stumps, break my shovel. And then once I've got these stumps dug up, I can go ahead and I'll have room to plant more trees. Now, something that you'll notice is I planted my trees way down here. My base camp is way up here. And you might ask yourself, well, why did you put your trees so far away from camp? And the reason is because the trees will come alive and eat you. I'm not kidding. Oops. There we go. Go ahead and chop this one up while it's still big. But yeah, when you are chopping trees down, there is the possibility that you will spawn a guardian of the forest. I cannot remember the official name. But one of these trees will sprout arms and legs and come after you and try to kill you. And boy, do they hit hard. So that's when you're going to want to use your log suit. And that's when you're going to want to use your spear. Or if you've been lucky enough, you uh, and you happen to have been to the swamp, you could also get a tentacle spike, which is really super useful. Uh, tentacle spike allows you to do a lot more damage. A lot more damage. I'm going to put my razor away because that's not going to get used anymore. Now that we've got all our beefalo wool, we're pretty set with... Oh, I didn't even realize I had boards. Okay, well, I have plenty of logs. Let's see. I'll refine up another board. And now... Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. We can build our alchemy engine... Okay, and the alchemy engine frees us up for a lot more stuff, and the first thing I want is I want that improved farm. 
because it's nice to be able to grow crops on that. But this is going to grow them a lot faster. It's a huge benefit. I'm going to see if I can get some manure while the day is still good. I've got food, so no worries about that. And where, oh, where have my beefalo gone? I know they were here. As a note, the beefalo tend to migrate. And I hope that they don't migrate too far away. Aha! <laughs> Perfect! When your character says, did you hear that? Or starts commenting on some strange noise. I don't know if you can hear those grunts, but... They're out there. So get yourself to a safe place. Pump up the fuel. As much as you can. And get yourself ready. Because these are the hounds. Now, I happen to know that since this is the first hound attack, there's only going to be a few. I've got my fire built up big enough where I don't have to worry about them too much. Keep my backpack close. Uh, I'll eat a couple of berries just in case, but my health is pretty full. get away from anything that's clickable because when they start coming in you could accidentally click on things and it gets really a lot of a hassle. But you can hear them definitely getting closer now. Oh great, it's daytime. Alright, let me show you, since we're on daytime, a fun way to deal with the hounds. Alright, here they come. Ready, set, kite into buffalo. <laughs> and they can't chase me fast enough, but what they will do is they'll aggro the buffalo. Beefalo. And the beefalo have absolutely no interest in, you know, anything the hounds drop. So I can just come on in here, pick up all the stuff. No damage. No, uh, no damage to my log suit. No usage on my spear. Super easy. So, reason number 996 why you want to camp somewhere near beefalo. Uh, you can also do this with pigs. Um, pigs will actively combat the hounds, but they won't do quite as much damage. Beefalo are much uh, beefier. But otherwise, if you're not around beefalo, or if it's too dark and you can't get to them, having the log suit will help to prevent a bunch of the damage that they do. And then the spear, you can usually off them in about three or four hits. So... These hounds will come by every, I'm going to say approximately every 10 to 14 days, maybe a little more or less. I'm fairly sure it's more. But I actually did take a look at the code once. I was creating my own personal character. You kind of have to look at the code. But uh, it is random, but it is a specific time frame. So, you know... Plan for about every other week, there being some kind of hound attack. And as they come by, there will be more hounds. They will be different kinds of hounds. There are two different kinds of hounds that you can get aside from the regular kind. Yeah. We'll grab that. And we'll put our backpack back on. Alright, we survived our first combat. But, uh, like I was saying, there's two different kinds of hounds other than those guys. There are the ice hounds, which will drop blue gems. And they usually attack in the wintertime. And then there are the fire hounds, which attack generally in the summertime. And they'll set all your stuff on fire. 
And that's when you want to have a second base camp. I'll usually build like a fire pit off to the side or something like that. Now let's go ahead and check our rabbit traps. Now something to note is that if you are playing the Reign of Giants version, rabbits have their own hunger. And so they can starve. In this game, however, if you're just playing the vanilla version, rabbits are eternal. Once you catch them, you can store them in a chest, and they are permanent. You don't have to worry about anything. You just can store rabbits indefinitely, which is amazingly broken, but so much fun to do. Oh, I forgot to replant some seeds. And I'm going to refine some boards. Um, put, oh, I've got plenty of manure. I actually want to make something out of that. I'm going to put my ashes in the chest. And then I'm going to make another chest. And this will be for my rabbit collection. So this is a really fun thing to do if you're playing the vanilla version, is you just make a chest of rabbits. And what that does is that gives you fresh meat anytime you want. It doesn't go bad. It's, I know, it's, it's horribly hacky and cheaty, but it's a good little emergency stash. So you can't do that in Reign of Giants. They will starve. They will... Yep, I know I'm starving. Look at this. I'm going to cook some food. Ah. Rats and frets and rats and fink and food. But what I really want to do is, now that I've got my alchemy engine, I want to make myself a crock pot. Because I could take all of these little ingredients, even the monster meat, and I can turn it into something really, really good. So what do we need for that? Well, we need more charcoal. Which I think I've got some in the chest. I'll have to check. And three cut stone. Nope. Well, this is where it gets fun. We need charcoal. Not a problem. I'll just wait for all that to burn down. As a note, fire spreads a lot. And you can get burned by this, so if I walk into it, that means I'm taking damage. <laughs> you don't want to do that on a regular basis. Unfortunately, if you duck out of it fast enough, you actually don't take damage. You'll see I'm at a full health already, so... Not a problem. And luckily, when you do burn down trees, they still drop pine cones on occasion, so you can replant your forests. It's not a total loss. And I'll make sure to do that before I head back to camp, because I still need to have my good source of logs. And charcoal is good for other things. We can make ourselves another drying rack, so we can have longer-lasting meat sources. Let's hurry up with this, because i got to get back to camp. It's starting to get dark, and I've probably ingrained in you some bad habits by cutting it so close. And I should not do that. You should not do that. Because if you get stuck out, and it's too dark, you will die. And here I am, just barely making it back to camp in time. <sighs> There. We'll refine ourselves up some rocks. One, two, three. And bingo, bango, bongo, a crock pot. Uh, right there looks good. And with crock pot, you can do all kinds of things. I'll toss in a morsel, I'll toss in a monster meat, I'll throw in a pumpkin. You can't put in seeds, I don't think. Nope. You can put in twigs. You can make kebabs. But I'm going to toss in another vegetable. And I 
believe that the general nutrition value of the foods kind of combines together to be, you know, whatever that... Let's see. Oh, I need more tw I am out of twigs and rope. Holy cow. But see, now I have these delicious meatballs. And you've seen before, so I've got 39. You, you saw how the turkey did. You saw how the rabbits do. 101! How's that working? <laughs> I can harvest my drying rack. I'm not going to put the monster meat on there, but let me see if i got any more rabbits. Yeah, it's a bit early in the morning for rabbits. They only come out during the day, but yeah, well, one's good enough. We'll murder that sucker up. <gasps> I saw tracks. I'm going to throw that on there. Alright, so what we have here... Croiky, mate, is the elusive track of the Kowalifant. And you can see it's this little bitty circle, and it's got three toes, and it's pointing that way, so down. So we can go looking, and the next track will be in the direction that it's facing. We can hunt it down, but there's something we need to do before we do that. And it involves rope. Let's get over here. I'm tired of walking slow. Do, 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 do. Let's see. I might have some rope in the chest. No, I don't. Okay. Well, I'll refine myself some rope. And under here, under weapons, that's what we want. So we want... Oh. Okay, so it's not rope. Well, phooey. That means I need to find spiders. Well, that's alright. I was wanting to find spiders anyways. And you see how quickly the crops grew on that? Amazing. Also, dragon fruit is one of the best things that you could possibly have. Um... pick a couple berries. So check this out. Drop in the dragon fruit. <gasps> no! 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 I will murder you! I will murder you! No! Stop! Alright. So apparently control will drop one. And I just gotta wait for the turkey. You wanna kill these guys quick because they will eat all of your supplies. Okay. Well turkey meat is also really good for the um Holy cow, we have such success. Okay. Back to the crock pot. You can see he already ate like two of my berry bushes. Kill those suckers quickly. Alright. So, you put one dragon fruit in and then all this other stuff. You cook that up and you get a dragon fruit pie. Dragon fruit pie is amazing. Oh my god. It fills you up so fast. And I believe it also heals you. It's, it's just one of the best foods out there. If you get dragon fruit, oh, just keep making dragon fruit pie. It's so fantastic. You can also make, I think, a turkey dinner with two drumsticks, a meat of some kind, so I can use the monster meat, and berries. I'm gonna try that. You'll note that this is taking a lot longer to cook. And that's because it's making a supremely nutritious meal. Alright. We're going to try making ourselves a nice Thanksgiving dinner. Now if you fail at recipes in the crock pot, you will make mush. So... Ah, I did that again. Control L. I hate the fact that the trigger for that is right next to the tab button, so I can't even look at the map. Hey everyone! Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and make sure to subscribe for more videos in the future!